Hello there, Guru Larry here. Well, obviously it's me because it's on my channel. But welcome again to one of my first impressions review sort of video things like I do. And today I'll be doing Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, which is the DLC, or sort of DLC because it's a standalone title from Far Cry 3, and I done that a couple of months ago. So uh, if you want to look at that, the link's down there. But no, I probably will anyhow because it's an old video. Anyhow, we'll go further from me blabbing on here. We'll go straight into the game as it were. Uh, I'm just about to start a mission uh, as it's, it is. Do I need to press this button? No, no I don't. Okay, I need to reach the dam. So, uh, anyhow, a bit about the story. You play uh, Rex Power Colts, voiced by the bloke out of uh, Terminator 1, Michael... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I've forgotten how to pronounce his surname. Uh, anyhow, yeah, you play as him. He's after his ex, his old army sergeant, who's gone like a cyborg rogue against the uh, America. And uh, he, and basically, you know, he's find out why he's gone rogue and stuff like that. Uh, am I go I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? See, I told you so. Uh, yeah, and he's after him. Uh, he's become addicted to the blood of blood dragons. Um, and uh, yeah, they sort of like these sort of like steroids for cyborgs. Uh, the blood of blood dragons, and they are the enormous dragons in the game. You've probably seen what they look like so far. But undoubtedly, we'll. Uh, Come up! Oh, bloody hell! We'll come across some of them already. Uh, by the way, I am also playing this game on hard. So, uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing so badly, it's because yeah, obviously I'm I'm playing it on hard. I like I like playing it on hard. Uh, not because there's any sort of particular achievements in this game, to my knowledge. I just uh, I played Far Cry. Three on hard, and uh, it wasn't too much of a challenge, really. Not that I'm showing off or anything. I just mean that I'm just yeah. Not that I'm actually showing off or anything. I just mean that I'm. Uh, uh, I find it a bit easy, a bit on the easy side. Oops. So uh, this is very much in the style of a sort of 80s, 80s sort of. Uh, <laughs> Low budget sci fi movie, so. Have I just died? Yes, I've just died. Brilliant. There you go, that's what I get for talking. Uh, yes, like I said, it's got a very sort of 80s, sort of low budget sci fi thing. It's all the sort of neon everywhere. It's a bit like, uh, I think you can pump, you can, f you can thank uh, Tron for starting this trend of everything being like this sort of, uh, sort of neon everywhere. Uh, Right, I've got to reach the dam anyhow for the next objective. I think you got to. We're actually taking over uh, a garrison, or the equivalent of a garrison in uh, this game from the first one. Uh, am I gonna? Uh, it's very much similar to Far Cry 3 in the mechanics, but everything else has changed. It's got no relation to the game whatsoever. So uh, don't worry if you. You know, if you want to buy the game and not know anything about the original Far Cry, you didn't own it. Uh, and if you didn't own it, you're completely mad. I don't know why you've done that. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, okay, this is going to be fun, isn't it? I'm going to run all the way there. Ooh, cyborg cows. Excellent. Anyhow. I don't know if I should have killed them. No. There's something over there, look, oh, hello. So I'm gonna, I'll probably... Oh, glowy rocks. Oh, and I can swim. And I just throw straight up. Yeah, so is it. Oops. You're Okay, that was good of him. I guess at least they got me a car. Uh, if we hold that, this is the uh, the sort of looting thing again from Far Cry 3. On the plus side, uh, you can actually uh, take these hearts that you've taken out of the uh, cyborgs and uh, they lure in the blood dragons, which help you in the game. Um, get off, get off. Okay, let's have a quick look on the map, how far i got to go. Uh, it's not too far. Oh, it's down this road, is it? 
Yes, there you go. Oh, by the way, it is a different map from Far Cry 3, in case you're wondering. It isn't just a reprint of the same map. Uh, because actually that's what I thought originally. Uh, so that's not... I thought that's good, it's a complete thing. Well, like I said, uh, they didn't have to call it. Ooh, what the bloody hell? Oh god, I've got a hill now. There you go, where are you? I call shotgun. Yes, well done. That was hilarious. Not exactly duty from the turn off. Come back. It's very light hearted this game as well, if you can actually see what's going on, but hopefully I'll get to the, the mission soon. Actually, what am I doing? I've got a car. So why do I do that? No. There you go. Let's get his heart as well. That'll come in handy in a bit, trust me. Uh, I've been playing this game for about an hour and a half now, so about, yeah, like I said, about an hour in. I didn't want to do the very first few missions or anything. I don't want to completely spoil it. Uh, this uh, The game is always set at darker like this as well, by the way, so... Uh, so there's no, like, day or night time. It's always set in this sort of uh, dystopian... Doc, you're at the dam. God damn, it's big. Every facility has its own oh, damn joke. But without the dam, Sloan can't run his operation at full strength. Then it's time to blow his die. Okay, I'm sending you the coordinates to enough C-4000 to crack that Ooh. dam. Draining the reservoir will compromise the reactor's coolant system. Objective, retrieve C-4000. Cap uh, Captain Darling's actually his, uh, the bad guy's uh, sort of a second command scientist who wants to go and help you all the way through the game as well, by the way, you who that is. Uh, if you press up on the D-pad, instead of getting out of your camcorder to look for things, you get this sort of a Terminator-esque cyborg vision. Uh, there's nobody about, so I can just keep running. Uh, probably I should have kept in my... should I kept in my car? That's the alarm. You can turn them off uh, by either stabbing them or thing. These are the hidden crates. There are hidden uh, VHS tapes and hidden televisions uh, throughout the game as well. If you get all of them, there's an achievement, but it's like uh, video clips and stuff like that uh, situated throughout the game. Uh, some more ammo. Is that ammo lying about? So it's old fashioned ammo. Where's the uh, alarm? Oh, it's down below. So, disabled that. Uh, like I said, yeah, it's a very similar uh, premise to the original Far Cry uh, in that respect. It's just a completely different setting. So, where am I, where am I going? Oh, I'm going to go below. So. Alright, let me. How do I get down there? Also, I love the music as well, very sort of 80s. Reminds me of a little bit of um, Escape from New York, really, a bit of music. But where am I? How do I get down there then? Oh, there you go. Stairs. Oh, I can't go through there. Okay. So where am I supposed to go if I can't go down the stairs? Do I jump down here? Or was just back to the bridge? Oh, okay then. Ooh, what's down there? Stuff I can't go to. Otherwise, I'll... I'll do a zip. So these are zip lines, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ow. Let me just. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted that. <sighs> Didn't know I had them. So I'll use the zip lines down here. At least I know where I'm going somewhat in this mode, this story. Uh, like I said, the darkness is actually... Is this it? Is that... Is that... I'm not coming with... Doc, ready to bring the house down. Oh, there you Just go. Just like when you saved me and my team in Quebec, when you caused that hydro plant's nuclear reactors to go critical. Aye. I don't remember much before getting shot up. Playing as a kid, my parents, Vietnam War II. I'm sorry. Good luck, Rex. 
We're counting on you to save us again. All of their kissing. Scan complete. Objective. Two of them, two Reach down and plant a sheep for the Let's go on up here. Structural faults. Ooh. See, look, uh, like I said, this is the camera vision that you can actually. Uh, dogs can smell you, even while stealth. Use your dice to lure the robo dogs away from your position. Or oh, robo dogs. Is it up here? No. Okay. Oh, there's a dog. Let's have a look and see what comes up from here. Okay. Is it just a regular dog from the game? With a bit of silver on his ass. Oh, here's a sniper. Oh, there you go. So much for that, Doglin. Fortunately, I'm absolutely crap at stealth now. I used to be quite good. It's like playing Splinter Cell by the Oh. Brilliant, Larry. Well done. I'm stuck in the eye. Fall in the sea. Can I get up here? Oh, that's a bit of luck. voice being a bit low. Um, I'm actually uh, a bit late at night uh, for doing this, I'm afraid. And also, yeah, a bit late at night. And also, uh, if you're wondering about my eyes, I've actually just come back off uh, filming Ashen's movie, and uh, and I forgot to take the eye makeup off as well, so I do look a bit weird. So do excuse me for that. I don't know if hearts, they have to be in the area. Oh, I need to heal. Oh, at least I've got one of them still, I need a bit of luck. Oh. They are supposed, good old fashioned sort of 80s sci-fi robots where they're supposed to be robots, but they're quite obviously some bloke um, in a biking uniform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got no health now, oh. so I've got to do the old uh, two things at a time now. That's quite good, isn't it? Got my cybotic arm. Oh, come on! Like I said, it's very tongue in cheek. This Oh, there you go now. Try and get that sniper. Let me just try and get my health back. Uh, sniper. Okay, that was a terrible shot, Larry. Well done. Can I get him? Great, isn't it? Never mind. We'll get. What's that over there? Is that an alarm? I've got to turn off. Oh, no, it's not. This one's for you, Spider. It's a mobile phone. I've got to stick on it. Good old 18th phone. Oh, well, that was. Uh... I've got 400 points for that. It's an alarm over here I can turn off. Or I can stick my finger up it. That's uh, just as intimidating. Uh, let's have a look over here, shall we? Whew. Get you another heart off this bloke. Uh, the game is a lot more simplified from uh, Far Cry 3. Instead of being able to choose what your power-ups are, it just does them automatically. 
I don't know about you, but when I always play a game that does let you do that, I always spam getting extra health. Wouldn't have been a bit bigger than that in the 80s, though. Yes, anyhow, yeah, I always uh, get myself maximum health before doing anything else in the game. Uh, I know some people don't recommend it, but you know, I find it easy to have more health than anything else in the game to start off with and then go through the power ups. Because the games normally are sort of uh, a lot easier at the beginning of the, of, of the game, so that's what I prefer doing. Uh, actually, how do I get up there? I know there's a pair of stairs, there's a flight of stairs there, which are the ones I've just come up from, but do they go anywhere else? No sniper stairs, I Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, not, yeah, like I said, there is a problem with the game that it is too dark sometimes, and you're just trying to work out where to see anything. Maybe I've got the brightness down on my television, also I am using an old plasma television, which is getting a bit annoying really, because it's getting a bit of screen burn from uh, my large bouts of playing playing um, Gears of War at the moment, so unfortunately, but uh, how do I get up there? I can only go down a zip line, I can't go up one, so... I go up to this one. Is it because have I done something wrong? I can't see a bloody thing now. Okay, I'm slowly climbing up these. Maybe it is this way. Well I've gone intuitive really. I yeah, especially can't see what you're bloody doing half the time. I put that vision on, because at least I can see where I'm going. Barely. Probably looks a lot easier on the off screen though, but. Great. Just falling down again, haven't I? Jesus. Uh, at least it does actually drop. Uh, they have to remove some things from the game, like I've noticed so far. Um, the uh, communication towers uh, from Far Cry 3, they're gone. Uh, so stuff like that, and also some of the uh, the driving missions, you know, to get the health, to blah blah blah, you know, racing things. I haven't seen any of them so far. I may be wrong, but uh, like I said, I've not seen any of them at this moment in time. Oh bloody hell! Well, that's the greatest thing, isn't it? And the laughter. I bet if somebody out there's been playing this game for about three months or something in the future. I go, oh, you don't know what you're doing, bloody new. That's like what I got from me playing uh, Gears of War 3 when we first got that, Ian and I. People would go, people are still complaining we don't know how to play it. And can't emphasise enough that, you know, it was the first time we ever played it. And it was about a week before it came out. Oh, the flamethrower guys are back, anyhow. Let's give him a shotgun. Hill, yeah, I've got a bit low on the old health, aren't I? So, get my, my old trusty shotgun out. Let me just this. Oh. He's a tough one. I've got any grenades? Yeah, I've got nine. There you go, I have a C4. <laughs> Do I select a grenade? C4? Oh, never mind. I'll get me a phaser tron back out again. And let's see what. Let's nick his heart. Lead it to a dragon later on. Uh, the stairs. Ooh, got a sniper out there because I spotted him earlier. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's a handy hint. Yes, that's what's supposed to use the. Uh, Reload. Oh, 
nice blue goo everywhere. I don't really need a sniper rod, but I'll do it anyhow. Just cause way to die on a job, dick shitter. Just because I want to look cool, even though I've been spending ten minutes looking for Time the way up the stairs left time. when there's a stairs in front of me, looking a complete idiot. And again, it does look like I said, my complaint is a bit dark. But then again, like I said, I've been playing it on a, a really dark television. Everything looks black or shit. Where do I go now? Stair, up the ladders, stairs. Um, there you go. This is quite possibly probably the worst mission I've got. To, is it? No, it's not actually not that bad. Part me, uh. Objective complete. Three four thousand planted. Please proceed to designated safe zone before detonating. Oops. Here we are, bugger. It's a nice sort of uh, distorted and uh, video type of thing there. Oh. Also, I don't know if you can notice, there is uh, very slight scan lines on the screen as well. I don't know if you can see, you need to look quite close for them, but yeah, there are scan lines to make it look like a, uh, it's an old fashioned video uh, for, for C, you know, for plasma. Not plasma, CRT television. I just hope this new C4000 is as good as the old C400. Let's press the button. Nope. Oh. It's not. Doc, it's a no go on the explosives. Then find one of the engineers working in the dam. There were civilians in there. There you go. But I, I know just the man to help you sabotage the dam. Here, locate him through his personal tracking device. Objective, rendezvous with engineer inside the dam. Attention, tomorrow night is chilling night in the cafeteria. They're not killing him. And extra rations of coconut. Oh, that killed him then. You have to spot me for us, did you? Hmm. Why are they killing him? All right, am I, am I doing something wrong? Oh, bollocks. Oh, obviously he can't go anywhere else from there. Oh, is it? Did it really keep my life so I could do that animation? Really? Jesus. I don't like pre-scripted events like that where you have to do something on that rather sort of uh, lazy, as it were. Oh, we've got mate again, anyway. How do I throw Have another one. Wait, so now. Oh, he's not even playing fucking die! Thank you. There you go. Have you? Are you camping over there? Oh no! It just slightly phased him. Oh. Let's get some more hearts while we're at it. As it were. There you go. Nice, delicious hearts for a dragon. Hopefully, we can see one then. The alarm. More stairs. Got quite a few grenades. I don't recall uh, throwing many grenades in here. Get rid of the pistol and use the uh, mini gun. I'm totally, uh, Jesse Ventura. Oh, bloody hell. Money! Good. Oh, I've got to hold it down. Oh, 
Reminder, throw a cyber heart at the enemy so that nearby dragons attack them. Oh, hey guys, tell me to throw a heart now. Have a cookie. Whoops. Hopefully a dragon will come by now. There's one on screen, anyhow. You can see it eating the green arrow at the back. Coming. Eat it up, little dragon dude. There he is. If you can see, the uh, there's colours on the dragon to note their mood. Uh, red means they're angry. Yellow means they're cautious. Green means they're uh, uh, docile. Obviously. Really going to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah, stick your finger up to her, corpse. He had a splitty head. What's this? Where's your head, mate? Is that my car earlier? Fortunately, uh, if you crouch, they can't see you. I should get up here. Hopefully, the dragon can't get me up here, but that's not the helicopter there. Oh, I've got some more health things. Did I just. Uh, I should. Oh! Ooh. That wasn't the greatest thing to do in the world, was it? Um, hopefully, it doesn't port spawn me back too far. It's not one of those bloody games that spawn like to be given a mission. I understand being able to be punish you for you know doing something wrong, but you know there's punishment and there's uh, extracting the your own as it were. Uh, let's get, yeah, we'll get rid of the rest of the game, take the mini gun. Reminder: throw a cyber heart at the enemy so that nearby. Let's get this hard oh, game. I don't know why they're not really that concerned about somebody throwing a heart. If somebody threw a heart at you, I think it would be... Okay, wait for a second. Hopefully that dragon comes in a second. There you go. Bring him another one, just in case the old heart... Oh god. Yeah, I'm glad uh, your priorities are with me. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, Puff. Oh, I can't really this gun. Oh, just watch this for a second. Yay, you messed up. There he is. Way to die on the job, did shitter. There you go. Luckily, that kills him. Beat the engineer. Where's he in? Oh. It's nice they actually got helicopters go after you like this game though, because uh, they never really had it in Far Cry 3. Despite the fact they're supposed to be some sort of organised South African military. There you go, sure. Right, well. A bit of health back there. Uh, I did actually enjoy Far Cry 3. Um, Ian said it was his game of the year. I'm quite inclined to to agree somewhat. Uh, and again, last year wasn't the greatest game for you in the world, were it for new games? This, this year is even worse, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, like I said, oh, and Ian, Ian's loved it so much, he's done half, about half a billion uh, live streams of everything on his channel. But um, that's Platform 32, in case you're wondering. Um, oh, I can still I can go down here now. No punishment for uh, being kicked out to the uh, map, the mission, as it were. So. Oh, open it up. Oh, there you go. Hello there. Objective complete. Are you Sergeant Rex Colt? 
Dr. Darling said, you're some kind of hero. I'm no hero. I'm just your everyday U.S. military Mark IV Cyber Commando. All right. You need to find a path to the reactor That's so really I can funny. turn the power down. I'm no cyber soldier. Right. Then it slides out for Sloan. Objective. Protect the engineer. Oh, it's an escort mission. Everybody loves escort missions. They're the, the best missions in the world. Let's get me some more ammo. These are... Oh. There you go. Everybody loves more, thanks. These escort missions. Oh, here you are, you do your thing. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, I was supposed to take him. Hello. Can I sneak up behind him? Ninja star to the neck. Um, oh! Come on. Also, all the enemies in the game sound like Metal Mickey as well. So I'm making that what you were. No, I'm trying to reload and I still can't do it. I'm an idiot. Oh, ooh. Also, all the enemies look exactly the same. Shooting me. Come on, where are you? She's more concerned about his bloody app. Oh dear. Did I, have I done the mission? No, I haven't done the mission. I was camping now, get my health back. Because trying to start to get his health back, he starts walking slowly, he doesn't do it while running. Cause... Oh, there we Oh, I've got to improve basic repair. Does that mean I get... Yeah, that means I've leveled up and I can do restore three health boxes now rather than just uh, two. There's another guy down here, isn't there? Well, I'm going to go up the stairs, anyhow. No, he's behind me. Brilliant. There you go, that's for trying to flank me, you cheap bugger. What happened to protecting the men under your command, Sloan? Only the strong can protect themselves. I learned that during the war. We didn't have what it took to win. We nuked Canada into a toxic wasteland. We did a go far enough. But who, son? You're gonna see some shit change. I promise you that. Excellent. Okay, that is actually the, the uh, antagonist of the game, by the way, in case you haven't figured it out. Um, oh, more of a high score. I love doing that. Oh, oh it's still got that, that thingy. Can I? Yes, look, I can carry him. Oh, I've got a sniper rifle. Maybe I should get him with a little grenade there. Hello, there you go. Oops. Where did you come from? Oh, and I got a big bloke there as well.
Oh, don't go out, you That was luck. So that, I can't believe I've done that. So the uh, the uh, flamethrower guys, two of them blew up in front of him. And he still didn't die. But... And there you go. Have a knife through your crash helmet, mate. Uh, I should get a... Look at that. Big old man pile there. And someone shoot me in the back. Hello, there you are. Alright, in a minute. There you go. That's good, mate. What's he doing? Okay, I should actually get my health back, shouldn't I? There you go. That's the new animation for getting your health back, by the way, in case you haven't figured that out as well. Because the last one we was pulling out bullets out of his arms with a pair of pliers or um, uh, breaking his, not unbreaking. What's it called? Dislocated his wrist. So he's doing that back and that is quite rather gruesome. Not as gruesome as it was in Far Cry 2, but uh, there you go, well, he's down here, is he? Hey, there you go. It's got all the uh, the added perks from uh, Far Cry 3. I don't know if it's anything to do with the fact I beat the game with all the perks uh, obtained. Probably not. I'm going to say, but yeah, like I said, he's got all the, um, pretty much most of the, uh, the uh, you know, the special moves that you had to earn in the uh, original game. What are you talking about, Sloan? Well, maybe there's more of me in you than you got left of yourself. Or maybe you scared I'm going to give you a reason to kill. I just gave you an excuse. That did it. That's the bridge to the exposed reactor core. Of course it is, because it's been leading me here the whole time. Come on! Follow the engineer. Okay. Well, I suppose he has going to follow him up here. He's the only way to go. Shall I get some more ammo while I'm at it? Oh, there you are. Keep up, mate. Then it's lights out for Sloan. You uh, said that one already. Lights out forever. Uh, okay, we are almost there, Sergeant. Oh, it's not the end of the world. Five. Oh, five two. Oh, crap. What do I do now? I can walk over. Oh, yeah, you can walk over health and stuff like that to pick up now, so you can hold down the X button. Cyber sharks, I've got to jump down. Switches to do something or rather. Oh, okay, I was expecting some sort of animation for that. Uh, oh, is it? Oh, you got? Is it putting bombs on now? So. Oh, there's a shark. Hello, cyber shark. You're just a regular shark that's been painted silver, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I suppose there's not like too much you can actually do with a shark, really. I've got to get back up here now. There you go, I've done all that. Now, now I just need to hack the system and expose that reactor core. Attention, no parking yes. in the ground zone. Expose a reactor core. Come on. I'm opening the reactor shields. Uh, don't let them kill me, okay? No, I don't I want them killed because I don't want to be asked to do the mission all over again. Let's have a look. Very, very slowly coming down. Save you. Let's 
Those wonder dinghies explode, don't they just deflate? They're not full of bloody helium. They'd fly away, wouldn't they? But then again, this is a video game technology. The same world where finding a bit of meat lying on the floor gives you health instead of giving you food poisoning. Face me, you know, buckets. wouldn't mind to uh, complain, but uh, come back in here. Okay, bye bye. And... Oh, oh, I'm gonna have your art, mate, because you weren't so close. Yep, yum, 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 yum. I don't know why some yum 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 because you have to get money. Keep trying to reload this gun. It's got a chronic reload syndrome. Sort of. Okay, that was a uh, challenging up. Oh look. Was that supposed to do that? Try one with me. Seems a bit. I don't think it was supposed to do that. No, so he sticks his finger up at it. Where do I get my... Oh, I'll press, thank you. There you go, a different button for the MLA attack for that specific bit. Doc, I made it. But Benji didn't. I'm sorry, Rex. He was a good man. No, Doc. He was a real American hero. Ooh, there you go, I can buy this minigun now, isn't that fun? Yay! Is that the end of the mission? I think that's it, actually. Uh, I don't want to do too much, because I don't want to spoil the game for you obviously, because there is quite a bit more, and it's also only a DLC game, so it's not going to be like a 70 hour epic and that, so I've probably done about a third of the game so far already, or well, hopefully not, anyhow, because I'll be quite disappointed in that, but overall I'm quite enjoying it, uh, like I said, it's a nice new take on, uh, it's quite a nice take on the Far Cry 3 universe, even though it's not in the universe, it's just sort of using the same mechanics, and that's all it's got in relation to Far Cry 3, but I am quite enjoying it, it's nice, refreshing, uh, difference in gaming as well for once instead of playing it, you know, all set in space or world, well, or World War Two. And it really do World War Two much now, do they? So either, yeah, some sort of gritty modern uh, Call of Duty esque uh, modern day shooter type thing like they normally do in these games nowadays. But this is, uh, I'm quite enjoying it because it's quite a nice cheesy 80s thing, and uh, it's uh, it's quite an original 80s thing because when you think of all 80s thing in video games, they always go for the sort of uh, Commodore 64 or Nintendo look, don't they, for when they go, oh, let's go retro 80s for the game. And that's uh, quite good, yes. So, yes, I am I am really enjoying this. Like I said, I've been playing this for a good few hours, and it is good fun. I would recommend it. And also the original Far Cry 3, because it's quite cheap now. But anyhow, thanks very much for watching. I've been Guru Larry. Goodbye, and good gaming.